Recently, there's an explosion of aluminum wheel hubs in the electric skateboard space. Nearly every e-skate manufacturer out there makes an aluminum wheel hub nowadays. What makes them good? What should you be looking for if you're looking for the best? Which one is the best? Inter Landserve XL Electric Skateboard Aluminum Alloy Wheel Hubs. The XL series has the best material quality and head-turning designs for your electric skateboards. Is it worth the small premium over other manufacturers' aluminum wheels? Today, I'll be featuring the Starfighter white rim design in my review. Let's take a deep dive now. Quick 10 second message from me, I'm giving away my electric skateboard review samples. All you have to do to enter is to be a subscriber and make a comment down below. More details on the giveaway at the end of the video. I can say with great confidence that the XL wheel hubs are the only ones made with aerospace grade 7075 T6 aluminum. What you see on all other aluminum wheels are lower grade 6061 aluminum. To be fair, for most general purposes, both the 7075 and the 6061 can get the job done, but the main difference is in their composition. While both aluminum types contain magnesium, silicon, copper, iron, zinc, titanium, manganese, and chromium, the 6061 aluminum contains much less zinc. This gives the 6061 better welding capabilities, but unfortunately, it has much less strength and less stress resistance than the 7075 aluminum. The 7075 is notable for its high strength to weight ratio over the 6061, meaning they weight roughly the same, but the 7075 aluminum is much stronger and much durable. Because of this, the 7075 aluminum alloy is commonly used in aerospace applications where strength to weight ratio is critical. The tensile strength of the 6061 aluminum is roughly 45,000 psi, while the 7075 is 83,000 psi. What is tensile strength, you ask? It is the maximum stress a material can withstand while being stretched or pulled before breaking. The 7075 aluminum has an 84% increase in tensile strength over the 6061 aluminum. The strength to weight ratio is also much higher for the 7075, coming in at 196 kilonewton meter per kilogram, as compared to the 115 kilonewton meter per kilogram from the 6061 aluminum alloy. Now, one may argue that this is overkill for an electric skateboard, that 6061 is enough, that you may never need 70 75 properties on an electric skateboard. But here are my counterpoints. Number one is you get the materials that you paid for. These wheel hubs in wide XT versions are, as a set, only roughly $150 more expensive than other 6061 wheel hub sets. But you get the high quality materials you paid for. This isn't some marketing gimmick that's trying to sell you the same thing for more cost. The extra dollars that you pay go directly to the cost of acquiring 7075 aluminum alloy. You get the best aerospace grade materials. This is really used on spaceships. Now it's on your electric skateboard. If you want the best of the best performance wheel hubs with zero compromise, this is it. If you don't want to spend an extra $150 and you want to spend roughly $350, that's about how much all the other 6061 aluminum wheels cost. The standard wheel size for the XL wheel hubs are only $300 to $350. They cost just as much as what other brands are charging for the lower quality 6061 aluminum wheel hubs. Except here, you get the higher quality wheel hubs with the 7075 aluminum. In my opinion, I think the Landsurf wheels is just much better than anything else on the market today in terms of quality and design. These Starfighter wheels are XT hubs. They run a little bit wider than a normal wheel hub you see on other pneumatic wheels. This stretches out the tires a bit. What I have here is the popular Evolve 7 inch tire. This would normally look like this on a standard rim, but the XT rims would stretch these tires wider. The benefit of these wider tires is more grips on the road, making carving and turning incredibly grippy. Of course, if you don't like XT tires, there are plenty of standard sizes to choose from, and they're equally good in quality, all made from 7075 aluminum. 
Another thing super amazing about these wheels is that they are super balanced, meaning you are good to go right out of the box. No need for extra wheel balancing. If you want, you can balance the wheel once you put the tires on because your tires may have unevenness. But from my experience, if you're not venturing into the 40 miles per hour territory, balancing these tires is really optional if you're using these already balanced wheels. Unlike other two-part wheels, the Starfighter and all other XL wheels are designed to contain all the bearings and spacers on one piece of the wheel hub. This decreases resistance and increases the balance of the wheel. Because of this, you're not going to have misaligned bearings which causes wheel wobble or increase in friction which decreases your mileage. If you're racing or doing anything that requires you to have the absolute best build quality that money can buy, these wheels are the ones that you're looking for. The colors on these wheels are lathed, smooth, and then anodized for an absolute brilliant appearance. You can even get a pure nickel plated finish, which is what I have here for the Starfighter. These colors in real life are absolutely eye catching and get your blood pumping with excitement. I don't think I've ever looked at some Eastgate wheels and thought to myself, holy crap, I gotta get out there now and ride these wheels, except for these ones right here. There are plenty of color choices. There's red, blue, nickel plated, black, magnesium brown, and gold. Make sure you check out the Landsurf website today for what's available. The bearings installed are Japanese NSK shielded bearings. These things basically run forever. Mine has been running these things for two years and over 1000 miles with zero issues. If you get the XL wheel hubs, you should also get the XL Precision pulleys. These pulleys come with either 62T or 72T. The 62T will get you higher top speed than the stock pulleys, and the 72T will get you higher acceleration than the 62T, but will shave a little bit off the top speed. The unique benefit of these pulleys is that they don't have a central bearing as compared to the stock pulley designs. These produce much less friction, weighs less, and have fewer points of failure. Plus, their color really make your gear train pop. I'm just loving these red ones on my Lone Star Super Sport. These precision pulleys also key into place with the other XL wheels. This makes a seamless system with hyper-integrated interface between the wheel and the pulley. This results in a lighter and more efficient drivetrain. Remember, these precision pulleys are optional. However, it would be great to pick them up for best performance results. But they're not a must-buy. You can always come back and add it to your drivetrain later. These anodized nuts are just amazing. Few aluminum hub makers also customize the axle nuts. These are made from the same 7075 aluminum alloy. You can rest easy knowing these are the same best materials money can buy. These are functional as well because they cover and protect the bearings they sit on from flying rocks and debris. Lastly, these come with a 1mm built-in lip on the wheel side, which eliminates the need for a washer. Seriously, they fit on most tires on the market. Kenda 8s, Evolve 7s, Trempa 6.5, Evolve 6 inch, you name it. The current tires you're running with, yeah, they're probably going to be able to fit in here. The Facebook group of the XL Wheel Hubs is full of people who love and swears by these wheels. The owner Matt is often in and out commenting on these posts as well. If you have any questions, there is a large community of users who can jump in and help at any time. Everything you need from maintenance to installation, you can find answers here. I only ride XL wheel hubs on my Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport. For an electric skateboard of this stature, you should give it the shoes it deserves. In both design and structural integrity, this is the end game for peak performance. It's within your grasp. Take it now and join me and thousands of others who have stepped into the realm of perfection. Phase 1 of the giveaway has ended. Round 2 is starting now with an X-Wave Flex as a giveaway price. 
This is a $650 value board with a custom painted black deck. Giveaway is continental US only. You only need to comment on one video. Multiple comments across all of my videos will not count. You have to be a subscriber and I will close the entrance to the giveaway on June 30th of 2023. The winner will be announced a week later on July 8th. All videos that I make during the May and June month will count towards the second electric skateboard drawing. I am also planning on giving away this very Meepo Voyager at the end of the year, so be sure to stay subscribed so you don't miss out. Many people ask me where I purchased my eSkate equipments. Listed in the description section are my favorite equipment and protective gears. You can find a more comprehensive list on my official website as well. These are affiliate links and I do get a small kickback if you are to buy some with these links. And they are extremely helpful in keeping the channel going. I reinvest 100% of the money I earn on this channel into acquiring new boards so I can keep reviewing the boards as honestly without limitations.